Hi, it's Jack again. Uh, this would be my first look review of uh, Adobe Lightroom. I actually didn't even know that Adobe Lightroom existed, which is pretty sad since uh, I've always used Adobe products. Now before I can show you Lightroom, I need to say that I wanted to use Aperture, but I couldn't. I downloaded it, I tried to install the trial, and it turns out having a MacBook, the graphics card's not powerful enough to install it. I don't know if I did something wrong, I don't think so, but that's what it told me, so I was very angry. And I researched a little bit and found this Adobe Lightroom application. Now before I can show you Adobe Lightroom, I need to show you Aperture, because there are some uh, similarities, uh, to say the least. Here's kind of a screenshot of Aperture, you know, you got like your lists over here, your like, uh, browser down here for the pictures, and on the right side you have controls, and this graph, and you know, there's some more buttons, there's a lot going on here. Um, it doesn't always look this uh, busy, a lot of times it's on different screens which are darker that don't have all the controls and whatnot. Here let me just show you some more images, there's a, another screenshot there, and another screenshot, some balancers, more screenshots, more little viewers. So that's what Aperture looks like. Here is Adobe Lightroom. I'll open it. It'll take a second. And granted, I really like this Adobe Lightroom so far. I played around last night with it for about a, about an hour, just kind of messing around with the features and stuff. Right off the bat, you can see that I can make it uh, full screen. Normally, it's going to be like this, and I can also stretch it up a little bit, press F again, go full screen. Very nice. I've been uh, editing some uh, photos from uh, my friend's family's trip. Like there we go, you know, I made it a little more green and cool stuff like that. I can go into develop and really start to get the editing features that I need. Oh look, there's that graph that looked so familiar earlier. And here's all these, you know, hue saturation features and whatnot, which are very important when you're just messing around with pictures so you can get the colors you want. So you can bring the blue out in the sky and the greens out in the grass. This one's a little kind of odd and pixelated, so yeah, and I'm not very good at this yet, but I'm getting there. Of course, you got your picture browser at the bottom here, which is it's pretty nice. Uh, it also doesn't touch the originals, but unlike Aperture, Aperture uh, has uh, folders where it kind of puts your originals and like the the new ones that you create and whatnot. And this one, it seems like it leaves the original where you want it, unless you tell it specifically not to. I really enjoyed it. It's really pretty. Uh, it's lightweight. I understand most of it. I mean, I, using use, being a Photoshop user for you know, five years, I understand just about all the controls. It's basically a dumbed-down Photoshop in a way that makes it very convenient for you. You can also choose to open anything, edit it in Adobe CS3, which I do have installed, but it's a trial and it ran out, so I'm kind of embarrassed about that. I haven't been able to get it activated. It's got these nice little uh, pictures here at the bottom of the menus. I really enjoy it. It's a very beautiful program. It makes slideshows. You can throw stuff straight up onto the web with it. It's a little slow, like switching between these different selectors up here, but once you start getting going, it's, it's really nice. It's an excellent application. I really thoroughly enjoy it, and I recommend it. Maybe It might even be better than Aperture, even though it looks almost identical. Almost identical. But for all I know, uh, there might have been programs for the last 10 years that have the same layout, and this is a very common layout for photo editing programs. But it's very beautiful, and it works really quick, shows you real time what's going on. It does a whole lot of uh, undersampling of the pictures to speed it up for you, which is it's really nice, and I enjoy this program very much. So that's Adobe Lightroom. Thank you very much.